back to the YouTube channel. Uh, as you can see to my right here, got some new wheels for the Camaro. The uh, stock 15 inch rally wheels weren't really doing it for me anymore. So on the old Facebook marketplace, the only thing Facebook's good for anymore. And uh, picked up a set of the finest Chinese drag wheels you can buy, Race Stars. Really, really good shape with brand new Bridgestones, but as uh, with just about any polished wheel setup out there, not exactly as shiny as they were new. You know, that's, that's the way it goes with polished wheels is you buy them, get them out of the box, they look great until you drive them in the rain or, you know, let them go a little bit. And then they kind of look like this, just tarnished almost, I guess is the right word to call it. I've done it with my, you know, 24s I had on my old Harley truck. Um, it's actually the reason I sold those wheels and on my new truck I did powder coated just because the upkeep for a truck that isn't garage is, is way too much for me. But I got a good deal, good deal on these. Uh, the Camaro is always going to be garage, so I'm not, not too worried about it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring these back to life. So yeah, let's just get right into it. I'll uh, bring you guys in, show you what uh, tools we're going to use and what equipment we're going to need to get this job done. All right, so to get these things shined up, I'm going to be using a couple different uh, tools and materials here. First of all, I got my Harbor Freight Special rotary buffer whatever you want to call it, with the correct attachments to run my, I forget what the technical term for these things is. Maybe someone in the comments can let me know. I ordered these a while ago when I had my, you know, 24 inch polished American Force wheels. Um, but they're basically what the pros use for like, you know, polishing a, you know, an entire big rig fuel tank or, you know, an entire pontoon boat or whatever. But you basically just run this along the surface you're trying to polish and it, it makes pretty quick work of it. So yellow is the cutting pad. White is the polishing pad, and then I typically finish with the, uh, this is also recommended, Zephyr. This stuff's pretty good. This stuff you typically do by hand. But yeah, you use this bar, with the yellow pad, white one with the white pad, and then finish with the, uh, by hand with the Zephyr stuff here. In order to try and protect these, I'm also going to use C5 Wheel Armor by G Technique. Same brand of ceramic coating that I have on my Z06. Uh, I did the uh, Crystal Serum Light on this car. This is their wheel offering. I don't know if you technically consider this a ceramic coating, but it's specifically designed for wheels. I don't know if it's more resistant to brake dust and road grime or whatever, but I've used it on those wheels, uh, as well as the 24-inch American Force wheels on my truck, as well as the 20-inch stance wheels on my E55 Mercedes and they really do bead water well. They make clean up a breeze, you know, so we'll see how it holds up. I've never done it on a set of aluminum wheels. So if we can get these looking halfway decent, we'll throw some of that on there. See if we can't, you know, kind of lock that in and make clean up easier in the future. So without further ado, let's get started. Probably do a little test spot with my uh, yellow cutting pad here and, uh, you know, see how this goes. We'll go to the uh, white pad after that and then a final polish, but I'll bring you guys along and see how this turns out. First thing I gotta do is remove the center caps here and then we'll get to polishing. Almost forgot, a couple other materials you're gonna need for this job. Obviously microfibers, varying cleanliness, safety glasses, you don't want any of this grime going in your eyes. Probably should wear a mask or a respirator as well. This, you know, aluminum polishing, any of those uh, dust or fumes, probably not good to breathe in.
first pass of polishing done already you know night and day difference on these things not perfect but night and day already already looking good and uh, here's why you want to wear a respirator or a mask of some sort this stuff is so messy so you know be aware of that so gonna take off the cutting pad here or whatever you call this thing move on to the polishing pad with the white bar hit these again and then we'll come in final pass by hand with this stuff a couple notes about the actual process here this buffer has a couple different speed settings when you're using the yellow cutting pad you know you can get the rpm pretty far up there when you're using this white finishing pad you want to keep the rpms lower so on this thing you know one speeds one through five we're probably going to go one or two and uh should be in good shape and you know in both of these cases you don't want to be really bearing down on the machine let the machine do the work uh, light pressure. So we just finished up polishing stage with the uh, white pad there. So now it's time for the Zephyr Pro 40. And basically what you do with this is probably, you know, what you guys who have polished aluminum or steel or whatever before are familiar with. Same process, just buff it on with a towel. So I'm gonna use a microfiber towel like this one, except clean. Uh, buff it on until the surface turns black and then just buff it off. That'll be good for some of these areas in the you know little nooks and crannies that it's harder to get with the buffing wheel there. Your hands are gonna hurt after this. You know, it's a pretty physically intense process, but you know, it should be worth it in the end. These already look 10 times better than they did. This will bring out that last, you know, final bit of shine, and then we can seal them up. So let's bang this out, and then we can uh, apply the G technique. <laughs> Looking good. Polishing is done, finally. Created a big mess, but uh, these things are looking awesome. So now in an effort to hopefully, you know, seal some of that shine in and hopefully not have to do this again anytime soon, we're gonna apply the C5 wheel armor. 
And basically the way we're gonna do this is pretty much apply it to the wheel with these little uh, pads they give you. You know, do a couple drips, apply it, and then uh, let it set for like a minute and then you buff it off. So let's, uh, let's do that. Let's get these set up uh, in a good spot here and I'll show you guys how it's done. All right guys, so we've got the wheel over here, ready to apply C5 wheel armor. Last step before you apply this stuff is uh, the same thing you do before you ceramic coat a car, and that is to you know clean any contaminants off there that might have gotten on there from polishing. I like to use CarPro Eraser. Um, you can use a prep solvent or any other panel wipe product. You could even use like a, a alcohol wipe if you wanted to. Um, but anyways, you just want to remove any wax and grease or contaminants that are going to prevent the C5 from bonding to the surface. It's the same process as ceramic coating. So any of you guys that have done that before, it's basically the same product just for wheels. So, you know, the wheels look clean over there, same wheel, but you know, you can see there's a ton of dirt and polishing residue, whatever it is, you wanna get that stuff off before you put this on. This stuff or any ceramic coating is probably gonna come with these little pads. Uh, I did a different set of wheels, uh, my American Forces earlier this year. So these are all, you know, crusty and gross. So those are junk. Um, but I still had some product left, so I saved it. So I'm gonna use, I bought a whole pack of these, uh, you know, microfiber uh, application pads, which are pretty much designed for tire shine or, or ceramic coating. So basically what you're gonna do, try and do this and film at the same time, and just do a couple dabs, you know, a couple drips here and there. Put your product down. Screw the C5 wheel armor cap back on, because if you tip it over, then you're, you know, $60 down the drain. And we're going to take the wet area there and just, just put a nice, even application on. It's probably going to be difficult to tell on camera, but you'll be able to see the streaks, you know, where the product was, or where you've, where you've successfully applied the product. So we're just going to go around and make sure we get in all these nooks and crannies. Nice, even coating everywhere. Sure we get the lip here. And that should be it. We're gonna wait like 30 seconds for it to flash on there. And then while that's doing that, I'm gonna grab a, a nice microfiber. All right, so we let that flash on there. We got a new microfiber. So let's just buff it off. It's as easy as that. All right, and there we go. Make sure you remove all the product depending on you know, what finish wheel you have, whether it's painted or chrome or aluminum, whatever it is, you know, you might go through with a light and make sure that you didn't miss any areas because that residue hardens, it's on there for good. Uh, so you wanna make sure you use, remove all the product, flip to a different side of the microfiber for the final wipe. Some people even use two microfibers, but it should look exactly the same as when you started, but now there's a coating on there that's gonna bead water and make cleanup a lot easier. So let's bang out these other three wheels and uh, we'll call this project done. That is how I compound, polish, and ceramic coat a set of aluminum wheels. Um, these things came out awesome. Compared to how they were when we first got them, you know, no shine to them at all, just really kind of tarnished and cloudy. Uh, these things came out awesome. Just about a mirror finish. You know, these are a cast, cheap China wheel, so if you had an expensive wheel, like a, you know, CNC billet uh, wheel, you know, you might even get a full mirror finish, but compared to where we started, Super happy with how these things came out. But if you want to see these get mounted up on my 69 Camaro, be sure to check out my other videos. Uh, like, subscribe, comment if you guys have questions, and we'll see you next time.